ago, some pictures of some worms that were not earthworms were sent to Backyard Farmer. And since then, we have found that the invasive jumping worm is pretty widespread in Nebraska. Sometimes they're called Asian jumping worms, sometimes crazy worms, or snake worms. And that's due to their behavior and the movement. They are pretty freaky, even for a bug lover like me and someone who enjoys worms, which by the way are not insects. They thrash around wildly, their tails may sometimes break off, they will secrete some yellow substance if disturbed, but really they are not like the earthworms that we know of. The invasive jumping worms mainly feed between the organic layer where we have mulch and leaf litter and the surface of the soil. So if you find that you're putting a lot of mulch down more often, or in your compost, you're seeing weird worms thrash around when you're digging, then these can be those invasive jumping worms. These jumping worms are native to Asia, and over there, they're not pests. But here, they're considered pests because they do this thing, which a lot of worms do, which is break down the soil to, to, into nutrients. However, they do this so quickly that the ecosystem may change because there's not enough nutrients left in the soil. So what happens is they break it down and then the rains will wash away those nutrients. So you may find your soil in some places look like spent coffee grounds and there's no longer any nutrients to provide to your plants. If you're wondering if you have jumping worms in your landscape, consider when and how often you get mulch delivered, where you get your mulch delivered, and if you've purchased any new plants. Quite often, the places that have the most reports of jumping worms are botanical gardens, nurseries, and homes that are importing or bringing in new plants. And often we find that, you know, we're all gardeners and we share our plants and we give gifts of plants. And many times we may be spreading the jumping worm. They are easy to see as adults, but not so much as cocoons, and that's how they're often spread. They can be found on tools if they're not washed properly, in treads of shoes and vehicles, but oftentimes they're going to be in that plant material. At this time, there are no products that can be used against worms or earthworms in the landscape, so we're not advising any treatment. However, if you do find jumping worms in your landscape, you're not supposed to pass them around to friends or neighbors, and you're supposed to destroy them. I hope you've learned something about jumping worms. There's nothing to panic. We are really still trying to learn about them and their effect in the landscape. So if you do find jumping worms, keep an eye on your plants. Maybe there are some plants that will do okay, and over time we'll learn more.